Greetings, Eric Back of The Naturopath from New Zealand. Thank you for coming back and looking at our channel, at our extensive channel now. Now here's a very interesting question from a sub. Some doctors say it's dangerous to eat a candida crushing diet without killing off all the candida. I'm persuaded by your videos and emails, but I'm nervous because some doctors say it's dangerous to eat a candida crushing diet without killing off all the candida with medications. Because when starved, the fungus can start attacking the body for sugar. What's your opinion of this? Ha, 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 ha. That's my opinion. For what it's worth. What a pile of crap. Absolute dung, this one. What a beautiful humdinger, this one. What the hell do doctors even know about candida? Five minutes ago, they were saying that only women got candida because men can't get them because they haven't got a you-know-what. And now we're getting this kind of crap, okay? Look. Nearly every GP I've talked to or have associated with in my professional work hasn't got a flippin' clue about yeast. They don't know anything about it. Nothing. Okay? They had maybe three lines to learn at med school about candida. They, got, they had no understanding of candida because they give medications that cause candida to flourish in the body. Okay? They don't usually understand how to use antifungal uh, drugs properly at all. Okay? Most all doctors I've ever worked with use the sledgehammer approach. If they see a fly, okay, they put they drop a 10-ton block on it to make sure it's dead. Okay? Whereas you and I would maybe flick it with a rubber band, okay, or whatever, or tell it to shoo away. But okay, the killing approach of candida is completely unnecessary in terms of what I mean is you don't need to eradicate the candida from the bowel. It's stupid, and you can't anyway. You can never like eradicate everything from the bowel. Even when you get a stool test result back and you get very low numbers of beneficial bacteria, okay, guess what? They're still there. Even if it says NG or nil growth, they're still there, but the numbers are so low, all right? So everything in the body works in harmony, okay? Everything, just like it does in your street, just like it does with your neighbors and people all around you, people get on together as a group. Bacteria and yeast get on together. They've got it sorted. When you take any kind of medication, when you take any kind of food, everything that goes in there can upset the balance. All right? That's why we're always so telling people not to eat refined foods, processed sugars, artificial sugars, all these sorts of crappy things that can upset that balance. Why? Why would we say that? Well, people tend to eat a lot more food than take pharmaceutical drugs. They're eating food, well, some people, they're eating food all the time. So it's what you put in there on a very regular basis that will dictate the balance of this. All right. So having this stupid assumption that you need to come in to kill everything off first before you can eat a candida killing diet, it doesn't make sense. All right. The balance is important. But when the balance goes out of kilter, how are we going to correct the imbalance? Are we going to come in there with machine guns and bombs? you know, I, um, i.e. antibiotics, or are we going to come in there with, okay, a more of a subtle, gentle approach, something like Kanzita, something that doesn't come in there and just like nuke everything, all right, something that's more selective. Kanzita products work extremely well, and I know that a lot of doctors don't like that because they like antibiotics, okay. I'm coming from a completely different premise understanding of the gut than the GP is. With me, it's all about balance and harmony. It's not about killing and wiping out and destroying bad guys and stuff like this. This is what armies do. It never works. Wars never work. Okay? Peace deals work. All right? Now, Kanzida, it's not exactly a peacemaker or a dealmaker. Okay? Think of it more of like a sledgehammer with a very soft tap. Like some people need a tap on the head, okay? Well, bacteria need a good smack on the head, but they don't need it with that 10-ton block on the fly, okay? All you need is just to go, boop, tap like that, and it's gone. Something gentle but effective and powerful, okay? Something that's not highly selective of one species that wipes things out. Something that's more subtle and creates balance and harmony in the body. So my opinion on um, the doctor say it's very dangerous to eat a candida crushing diet is a load of crap to be honest it, it, if people ate things like garlic and onions and all the foods I, I recommend on a daily basis they wouldn't even need to bother about candida they'd have such a good balance in their gut of bacteria if they had a lot of sweet potato like we do you know 
to build the beneficial levels of bacteria up. You don't need to worry about this kind of garbage. But it's when your diet is lopsided, it's way off track, you've had a crappy stressful lifestyle, you take pharmaceuticals, you get an imbalance in the gut. Those are people often that visit the doctor for the quick sledgehammer approach. But you know what? It never works. They always seem to come back to my office or the doctor's office for more drugs and more drugs. And these are the people who tell you, I've been on a candida diet for two years and it's not working. Well, maybe you're not working. That's the problem, right? So in my opinion, it's poppycock, basically. Thanks for the question.